Concerning perfumes, surprisingly all roads lead not to Rome, but to Venice. Nevertheless, we couldn't suspect it looking at a bottle of the most ancient eau de Cologne, Jean-Marie Farine. French, no thanks. If we go back in time, we'll discover that the original name was Johann Maria Farina. Austrian, then, again, no thanks. If we continue to the origins, we shall eventually meet two perfumers from Italy, Giovanni Maria Farina and his brother Giovanni Battista. Movite, no? If the first and unique Cologne was made in Italy, Giovanni Paolo Feminis Aqua Mirabilis, which, however, was a beverage, in the Farina family we can detect a distinct Venice bouquet. The two brothers' grandmother was the Venetian perfumer Cristina Gennari, highly specialized in the distillation of alcoholic essences. E quasi ben rettificata dopo qualche giorno. Se a voi escavesar, che mette gli odori che vi piace a voi, perché questa è asebona, sia tagliata che al naturale. In the 18th century, Venice had already an age-long tradition in perfumery. Perfumes were produced in all possible forms, solid, liquid, oily, and even in powder. Everything was perfumed, from the body to clothes, even jewels and gloves. So we can guess a precise Venetian influx from Grandma Cristina to her illustrious nephew Giovanni Maria, who today can be defined the forefather of all Cologne creators. So every time we refresh ourselves with a splash of the wondrous water, let us think that every droplet carries the genes and the genius of the great, marvellous history of Venetian perfumery art, the most ancient of all Europe. <laughs>